What is up guys? Jake from One Hive here with the next war recap video and this is the one you guys have been waiting on the war with Emphatic Elite and as you can see this one did not go our way. Uh, five star victory for Emphatic Elite so very very impressive. Uh, just wasn't our war. I mean that's just the bottom line. They had some good bases. We had some attacks that just didn't quite break our way and uh, they they executed. I mean really really well. You'll see they get, did get four Town Hall 10 three stars. Uh, and we did not get any. So that's obviously the difference. And then plus one, of course, all the Town Hall 9s were three-star on both sides. So that was to be expected. And it was a 50 on 50, 50 war. So nice big war. Uh, lots of good attacks. I mean, my goodness, so many great attacks. I'm going to try to show you several today, but I'm also going to use several for other things, background attacks, things like that. Uh, so, you know, it's not just a super, super long recap, but you'll get to see quite a bit from this war. Um, we did have one Town Hall 10 that we actually did not even uh, two-star, which made up for the fifth star. They made they had four Town Hall 10 three-stars. We had none, and then this one. But, uh, you know, pretty early. They were, they were getting Town Hall 10 three-stars with several hours left in the war, so it sort of put the pressure on us. We had to try some things uh, as far as going for three-stars instead of two-star attacks, so we are just not able to secure that one uh, like we normally would have. Uh, but it was just because of their good performance and that they had the pressure put on us really, really early in the match. And so we had to go for it, and it just didn't pan out. So, again, props to Emphatic Elite. Uh, good bases, uh, good attacks, and got the W. Just a, a rough one for us, but we will uh, get better from it for sure. And uh, I will show you guys some really nice attacks, actually, here. I'm going to show you some Town Hall 10s that were really close. Uh, and one that was just really cool right here, Alpha Dog taking on their number nine. I just... I watched the attack and I was like, what? What just happened? When you're talking about a very high uh, defensive-wise Town Hall 9, or Town Hall 10 base, and he comes in with, uh, he had 10 balloons, or 11 balloons maybe. I didn't look there. Um, had to come in with a little extra right there to get that uh, Archer Tower taken care of. He wanted that down because he wanted to be able to get these percentage points with those minions right there, and also to create that funnel for his, for his uh, queen. But you look at this attack here, all he's got is a couple of uh, golems, uh, healers for his queen, the quakes, uh, the zaps and then the healers. I mean, that's it. It's like it's not really a, a normal army to go in on Town Hall 10. So you see, he's out there. He's quaking that uh, air defense, the uh, infernal tower, the expo, and he's setting it up and he's waiting for the queen to come step on that infernal tower. And then he's going to drop those three lightnings and really soften her up uh, real nicely. So uh, the queen walk just doing her thing. And you see these minions over here doing their thing, getting some nice percentage points there. Right there, the three lightnings go down. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, Infernal Tower is dead. The uh, expo, the the uh, air defense is dead. The expo did not quite go down, and the queen obviously didn't go down, but it did get a little bit of damage on her. So, you know, mission accomplished there. Uh, the queen walk continues around the base, and you'll see at the top here. He again, he's doing it with the minions and those balloons. And this is a two star. I mean, attempt. I don't think he had any illusions of getting a three star on this, but still. Um, not a normal, there's no real push in here. There's no push. I mean, there is a, the golems and the king, but I mean, there's just five wizards. I don't know. It seemed real light to me, but man, was it effective. Uh, comes around here, opens up this little compartment with the, raw, bar, me, the wall breakers there uh, for that queen walk. She's going to go in. He's going to have to drop the rage here in just a moment uh, to get her boosted back up. And she knows she, she is going to engage um, uh, the more de point defense there, the Cannon, the Archer Tower, right there, boom. Got to get her back up. And then now this uh, Air Sweeper is also going to start being a little bit pesky, uh, pushing those healers back and slowing them down on their heels a little bit. So that's a big deal. Uh, then on the left side here, you see the Golems go down. The Wizards that he did bring uh, did go down right there. And then the King on the bottom. I just sort of hit this thing from all different sides, trying to get all those percentage points. Uh, but really the Queen going in here, getting this Tesla farm taken care of with all these level 8 Teslas. Uh, just insane to me. Uh, you see right there gets that last air defense and then just sort of continues on here. She's going to start beating through this wall right here and then that's going to leave her in that compartment right next to the uh, right next to the town hall and there's two more healers for you. You know, he just saved those in the bag, dropped them in late, made sure they didn't get taken out, flanked by any type of uh, air defense or anything, uh, then rages them up and obviously they're going to boost her really, really high. The enemy queen comes over, uh, she takes her out and then right back onto that town hall. So the town hall's down. Look at the percentage, guys. 77% insane uh the queen is still going still going strong actually uh all the way over to this next infernal tower uh, she does get targeted but still has the ability uh, so right there those minions help take that out and then right here uses that ability which is going to take out this um storage really really quickly and then actually doesn't even use it yet waits till he gets on the infernal tower but that single infernal tower look at that even with those with those healers on there they're kind of like keeping up i mean that little one stream right there barely losing any health there she gets healed back up 
Actually, they're probably not even healing her, but I mean, they it, just very, very little damage on that one stream for that for that queen there. I mean, really, had he not ran out of time here, I think this would have been a three star attack, which is insane. I mean, think about the army comp that was brought and the way he just sort of walked it through. I think he thought he could take advantage of these lower level walls, uh, which he did. You know, not having to wall break through, just letting that queen go through, uh, just using that that level forty queen to the max right there. Uh, finally, runs out of time at eighty six percent. So really, really good two star attack. Uh, in my opinion. Good job, Alpha Dog. All right. Now let's look at one that I, th I mean, it was so close to a three-star. Jadori taking on their number 12. This was their actual bottom Town Hall 10. Each uh, each clan had a few Town Hall 9.5s, but as far as an actual Town Hall 10, this was their bottom. Uh, so had the maxed out, you know, air defense, had level two Infernal Towers, and then pretty much Town Hall 9 defense from there. I think maybe some level eight Tethys. I can't remember. Uh, but coming in from the bottom here with this Queen Walk, just normal stuff here, dropping a few minions on the right side. Wants to help uh, direct the queen. Taking out this archer tower and wizard tower. Actually, sort of mixed, missed the wizard tower there. We had to walk around the curb, and I guess those other things were a little bit closer. So pulled her over, uh, but did get this uh, air defense, which is what uh, is what was after right here. Drops that uh, giant down. That's just the distracting, distraction giant. Uh, you see she gets the air defense taken care of, and then uh, just that drive taking some of the heat off of her, so there's not like four point defense on her at once counting that expo. Uh, which made things a little bit easier. Then on the right side of Golem going in with a few, wizard few wizards, uh, the king, they're going to go in and get that next air defense. Uh, and obviously I think the goal here with this jump spell was to get to that queen, get to the queen, get to the infernal tower. The queen does come out and engage. Uh, right here is the jump spell going on, but what happens is, and that's a really nice freeze right there. It freezes all that damage that's coming their way. Right there use the ability, but what happens is unfortunately... Instead of taking the jump, the king comes back to this storage because the queen coming out sort of aggroed him, pulled him in. Then he goes back. Now he's not even going to take the jump. Uh, so unfortunate that Infernal Tower does not go down. I think that was definitely uh, what he was looking for there is to get that Infernal Tower. I think probably would have had the three-star had it went that way. But sometimes that happens. Aggro is a funny thing and uh, just sort of moved him forward and then back. And then he was too far from the jump to take it. So he just beat on the wall incessantly down there until he dies. Uh, then the lava towns come in, the balloons come in. You see the queen still doing her thing, walking around. Huge, uh, hugely successful queen walk right there. Just beautiful. Uh, those hay spells moving those balloons through very, very quickly. But as they start getting into these infernal towers, uh, uses the, the free spell on that one. And but the, again, that back one's supposed to be gone at this point, but it's not. So as soon as these balloons start getting into range, uh, they just get melted. And uh, the queen is sort of on the opposite side here. She's dealing with that lava hound. A couple of hay spells that are on the ground still, but nobody's getting any benefit from that. Right there, the last one in that core. Uh, but again, that, that infernal tower right there that should be gone, or what was that plan was to be gone, is just uh, too much to handle. The king's still in there. We'll fast forward here times four because the queen still walks around, does her thing a little bit, uh, but just not quite. But gets a huge, hugely high percentage right here. I mean, just keeps on going, goes into the core. Uh, had plenty of time to get it done, just didn't have the troops for it. Uh, right here comes around and gets actually that uh, Town Hall taken care of and the Infernal Tower. I mean, again, another one that just time issue would have been a three-star, 93% good try to Jadoi. All right, let's check out some three-star attacks. And we are going to check out a few of uh, the Town Hall 10 attacks that the other side did that uh, emphatically did because they were really nice and worth showing. So we are going to get to that. Just hang tight. We'll do that at the end here. Uh, Dirt. Taking on a number 17 and doing it with a go Faho, with a queen walk, uh, with a double jump. You guys know I love it. Probably one of my favorite attack styles to watch. They just seem always so cool. A couple of um, balloons go down. Just take out that archer tower. I don't know that he was expecting the Tesla. I can't remember if this was a cleanup attack or not. Uh, but really what that was about was removing that archer tower so he could put these minions in, get that funnel created for his queen walk, and direct her the way he wanted her to go. So mission accomplished there. Uh, she jumps, steps up, takes out that archer tower, excuse me, that cannon. Uh, moves her way down. Archer Tower is locked onto her. Uh, she'll take out this storage and then will start working her way south where Dirt wanted her to go. So very nicely done. Uh, set up on this one. Comes in. Starts taking out the air defense. And then from there she will get onto that Archer Tower. So uh, now I see looking at the attack here. I can't remember which way he came in on this one on the double jump. I think this is one of the ones that is sort of an old school style attack where he the Queen Walk sort of joins up with the a lot of times we can see them separate, completely separate. They stay separate. Uh, but when Queen Walks first started, most of the time you saw it sort of join up with the kill squad, the queen, the healers, and they pushed all into the base together. So that's more of this style, just giving this queen time, letting her do her thing, walk around the side of the base. And here in just a few moments you're going to see he's going to start preparing the entry area uh, with uh, some golems going down, just some wizards to create that funnel and make sure everything's going to go in where he wants. But right here the queen's getting in there. That's an important spot right there, that 
spot between the air defense and that expo. That's an obvious double bomb spot. So taking that out is a big deal. Uh, now the hogs are safe from that. So right here you see the golems going down, the wizards going down. Everything's prepped up, letting the queen sort of mop up on the right side and not taking away any of her, uh, her trash buildings to allow her to just to keep continue on funneling around the base and not have to worry about her start shooting a wall or anything. So very nicely done there. Wall breakers right in that junction. That was perfect. Uh, the golem's going in. Here comes the king in just a minute. And the redheads. Everything's going to start funneling in here. Uh, you see the lot, excuse me, the golem and the CC coming out. Just a time sink. No real threat there. But these uh, Valks and the king and all that are going to burn through it really, really quickly. You see the healer's taking a little bit of shots from the air defense right there. But the golems get on it. She gets on it. Takes it down. Uh, does have the heal spell form. The double jump, though, right through to the queen, allowing everything to go through. But look how little of this base is actually left for those 14 hogs to deal with. And uh, I think all the bombs are either diffused as far as taking away uh, defenses in that area or they are triggered. So it's hard to tell in that mess, but a lot of it going down. Obviously, the queen goes down real quick. Look at the king over there. He's like untouched at this point, basically. Uh, so that's beautiful. Uses the queen's ability, takes out that X bow, and now the hogs are going through. And again, I don't think they even hit a giant bomb, maybe till the very, very end of this raid. Uh, but all of the defenses that really are any type of threat are, for the most part, taken care of. The last few hogs on that Tesla. Uh, that which these last two splash damage uh, don't mean a lot right there. Uh, the air sweeper goes down right here, that double bomb set. They kind of go in and back out, just live. I uh, don't think it would have mattered. I think he had plenty of time to get it done. But still, just sort of a juke in and out on that bomb, triggering it and getting out of the way. So good job to Dirt. All right, moving on here. Let's check out Zimban. Taking on number 19 and doing it with the Zap Quake Dragon Attack. Everybody loves it. It's fun to watch. Uh, let's see, which one does he come at on this? I'm trying to remember. I guess maybe he zaps. Yeah, this is the one where I thought he could wait it here. He zaps the top air defense and uh, takes out that one that's there by the queen, therefore allowing his dragons to pretty much handle that area by himself. But what I was surprised about is right here, he did not wait. That queen stepped right on top of that air defense. He didn't wait for it, though. Not that huge a deal because he does have seven dragons that are going to be going in there. You see he's already creating that funnel for them to direct them in there. Uh, and the queen walks doing her thing down here with some minions uh, that are creating the funnel, pushing her the direction he wants her to go. But... Uh, you know, he, he could have just waited a moment. Maybe he just didn't care about the time, knew the dragons would be okay. But, it's you know, if you're trying to actually be the most uh, efficient, it would have been best to wait on that and get a little bit of damage onto that queen from those uh, lightning spells. But no big deal. Uh, coming down to the bottom here, you see those minions getting on that cannon, which I really like. That was uh, high value there. And then right there, the jump uh, to let that queen in. Obviously, the goal here is to get to these air defenses, which when she steps into this next compartment, she's got access to all of them. So that was beautifully done uh, by Zimban. You see she's taking out a few defenses here. Uh, healers are easily keeping her alive at this point. Right there, she's in the right spot. Now, here come the CC troops, and uh, the troops are distracting her, and the air defense right there was locked onto uh, her, her, his healer for just a moment, but uh, the queen just gets it taken care of. Uses that ability because of the because of the P.E.K.K.A. You've got to use the ability on a P.E.K.K.A. I mean, it just burn through your life if you don't, but had the ability ready. The king goes in. Right here, they're onto that last air defense right there. It goes down, and you'll see. Here come the dragons, the balloons, the swarm from the top. Everything coming right in, beautifully funneled in. Uh, and again, one breath from all those dragons, and the queen goes down. So maybe not that big a deal in the lightning, uh, but still would have been nice to see. Uh, the queen king are down here beating through the core, getting in there, doing their part. But for the most part, the dragons are the story of this one. All the air sweepers are taken care of right now. Uh, the air defenses are obviously dead. The king and queen are still up. They've got healers on them, so they're going to be in great shape moving forward. And these dragons are just going to slowly but surely work their way through the base, taking out all these defenses, storages, everything they run into, just absolutely trashing it. We'll fast forward because we know what's going to happen here. Uh, right there, you see the queen's getting a little bit healed back up. The king doing a little bit of tanking, which was really nice because, again, that, those healers just kept them up full life. Uh, wherever they went, and the dragons sort of just did their damage, did their thing. Right here, the queen comes back over. Uh, does get finally burnt down in that little Tesla farm there, but did do a little damage in the king coming in. Uh, you can see just wrecked through the rest of that base. Awesome attack by Zimban. All right, one more on our end, and then we are going to look at uh, a couple attacks from their side. A couple of the Town Hall 10 three-stars that are definitely worth giving a look. Uh, but I want to show Sam, I got to thinking, I don't know that I've shown a lot of uh, just go La Loon, you know, lately. But obviously it still happens every war. We still people that do it a lot. Uh, you know, not my favorite, but I know some of you guys, That's it's your favorite. So I got thinking, man, I need to show some of that. Uh, so here you go, one hop Sam. Absolutely doing a beautiful go all in attack. You see, you got the minion on the right side of that cannon. I love that. That's so uh, efficient and cheap right there. 
Uh, but the golem going down is the story here. A couple of three golems, and the wizard's creating the funnel, just pushing everything in. The queen going in right here has the double jump again, which is going to allow them to just waltz through this base. And as you can see, going to get to three air defenses on the way through this base to the queen. So uh, pretty expensive kill squad, but obviously worth it. I love where he placed that jump spell to keep those troops from going over into that town hall compartment and being drawn away. He did not want that to happen, so that was very, very smart. He wants to continue moving them forward, uh, get them over there to that enemy queen, take her out, and get those air defenses just while they're sort of moseying through the base. So right here, the king gets locked on first to the defending king. Uh, the queen sword sitting back doing her thing, drops that rage for him. She does get locked onto the town hall, so it's going to take a little bit of her time, but no big deal. You see the queen firing in right here. She actually comes across, didn't really need that second jump, because uh, she actually comes across the wall there. That's really far. I mean, you, you sort of a crapshoot there, whether she will or not. She, someone's got to be standing in the right spot. Uh, but goes ahead and drops that second junk form. You see right here, the queen doing her thing. And it would have gotten in there and actually gotten that Tesla form, but she sort of gets landlocked out. And then she beats on that wall where the town hall was instead of beating on that corner wall. She beat on that corner wall. I think with her ability, she gets in here and takes all three of those defenses out. Instead, she's just going to get a couple of them as she walks down here. Uh, you'll see in just a moment. But the big deal is she is going to get that last air defense that she was after right there. Has her ability. Going to use it in just a second. Get a Tesla and then just work on that uh, Wizard Tower and Archer Tower down below. Uh, so right here, the Lava Hounds are coming in. Only 180 left. He's got two Lava Hounds for it. That's all he needs. Just doing different angles right here. Moving their way through. Triggering bombs. You see, look at all those black bombs and everything going off. Uh, exactly what he wanted. Hey, spell for the balloons that are going in there. Uh, as soon as this one uh, Lava Hound busts. I think in just a second... Actually, it may not make it past this one. I'm not sure until they get some more bombs. But anyways, the hay spells are down, moving those balloons along very, very quickly. Right there, the lava hound explodes. Uh, and then the last few balloons are deployed on these archer towers, which is perfect. Does still have another hay spell in the bag. Uh, really doesn't even need it, but does drop it right there just to move these balloons between the defenses quickly. But look how many balloons are left. Got the pups for cleanup. Got a wizard down for cleanup. Just smashed it. Beautiful Gola Loon example by our boy, One Hot Sand. Good job, buddy. All right, we'll fast forward through that, let that clean up, and then again, we will head over to the other side of the map and see some of these very nice Town Hall 10 three stars that made the difference in the war. Now, there was a couple that were done by Town Hall 11s moving down, so I'm not going to show those. Not that that's a bad thing. I mean, that's that's the way it is right now. We weren't able to get that done uh, on our side, but Megan Mo Money and uh, ASAP got three starred by Town Hall 11s, but I will show Duce and uh, and. Predator getting three star because it was straight up Town Hall 10s and done very, very nicely. So right here, just like y'all love them, they start with the queen walk. You see dropping the queen down and then a few minions just to create that funnel and uh, to take out some of those trash buildings. So queen's down, doing her thing, just going to walk in, start taking out everything she runs into. Right now she's on a storage, but then goes to the defenses. And, you know, clearly on these attacks, the goal is the air defenses. So that's what it's all about, getting in there, getting taken care of. And I think this was a great plan because not only is... Uh, Venera is going to get in here and get this air defense taken care of, but also going to get both uh, heroes out of it. Now, that king's not a huge deal when it comes to an uh, air attack like this, but the queen clearly, clearly is. And uh, using that rage on that on that attacking queen right there, it's going to get both of them. These wall breakers come around the side there. Long journey, but they get around, open that up to, I guess, let them um, sort of walk through, have a, a path to go all the way through. Uh, you see the lava hound and the... the Wizard coming out, drops the poison spell down really nicely, and I sort of thought they was in trouble right here because they were distracting that queen, and the enemy queen was in there shooting in, or our queen was in there shooting in on them, uh, but I guess the king coming in and just had enough uh, uh, troops out there that didn't get anybody taken out. The queen goes down, the uh, attacking king goes down, but the damage is done here. You see the air defense is dead. Um, he did beat through that wall, which I'm not sure if that's really what uh, Veneris wanted or if it was absolutely according to plan, but it worked out because the queen steps up right here, uh, does get locked onto the CC, but it still has that, uh, that free, this right here, this is what changed everything. I'm not sure if this was on the fly and if it was, I am terribly impressed or if this is all, uh, drawn out and planned. If that's so, I'm also terribly impressed. This is just an impressive attack. The queen goes through the, the hole there that the king beat. And judging by the wall breakers, I don't know that that was the plan. I'm almost assuming that the plan was for the queen to continue to walk around. But however, regardless, the queen goes in and she's in trouble here. She's locked onto the CC. She's got two expos on her. She's got she's in range of the Inferno Tower. Everything is on her right here. She's going down very quickly. And Veneris drops that freeze, freezes that damage, uses the queen's ability, uses the rage, gets it all. Actually, the queen's ability was already, was already gone, I think. but 
you, the freezing rage right there gets the infernal tower taken down. Instead of the queen just dying, gets an infernal tower out of it. Uh, has to use two spells for it, but maybe that was the game plan all along. Like I said, very, very impressive, whether it was on the fly or whether it was planned out. Uh, comes in, gets another air defense. Uh, that Tesla's, every, uh, Expel, everything around it still has that freeze for the other infernal tower. You see nicely funnel those balloons right into it uh, using those haste spells. Uh, gets to it pretty, pretty quickly right there. They're on top of it and dropping bombs. And one more, it's going to be gone. Boom, it's gone. And that is pretty much a wrap. The Lava Hound still doing some taking on that offside air defense. Uh, the hay spell down again, just keeping those balloons moving very quickly. The Queen's still doing her thing, still taking out defenses. Uh, but you see only a few defenses really left uh, once that Wizard Tower goes down. Uh, the balloons have their way with it. And plenty of time left over. Takes a little bit of time for cleanup. But there is minions out there. There's Wizard. I think running around, the queen's still up. Uh, really, really nice. Couple balloons doing their thing. Again, that that freeze rage right there uh, just really, really impressed me. I mean, that was that was nice. Not a typical way you would see it used, uh, but worked out really, really well. All right, the last one we're going to look at is Predator uh, getting hit by Dito. And again, this one was the, our bottom town hall ten. So as you can see, it has level one infernal towers. Does have the max that will almost all maxed out air defenses. Besides that, pretty much town hall nine. So what Dito does is comes in, zaps down, uh, zap quakes down in infernal tower, and actually had that nice placement on that infernal or that quake because it actually touched, I think, that second infernal tower and softened it up a little bit. The queen walk coming in, uh, wall breakers going down. You see, this is actually a hog attack, so we're not really too much worried about. Uh, air defenses like that in particular uh, what he wants to do right here is get in just get some of these giant bomb maybe spots taken care of the king the queen all that taken care of uh, the CC troops so that he can start sending the hogs in and just sort of surgical and surgical deployment for the most part uh, really the hogs when I, when I watched this attack the first time I thought man this is this is not gonna work uh, but because the hogs just sort of all get sent in and bum rush this inferno tower and then there's not a lot left but you forget that this is a when it when, when the smoke clears and everything's out of the way for the most part, on a ground attack, this is a Town Hall 9, uh, once the Infernal Towers and the heroes are gone. Uh, so right here, the jump spell goes down. You see the golem starting to come in. And obviously, the king's going to come in a minute. Three golems right there. Really heavy push into this next multi Infernal Tower. Uh, the queen's going to be doing her thing over there. She's completely safe at this point. Nothing's going to lock on her and burn her down. She's level 40. She's beefy. Uh, but here comes the king and the golems and the giant. All of that design just to soak up those... Um, Took up those infernal towers and look at there. Here comes the hogs. Most of the hogs, only one left. Uh, their job is just to get right into this core, drop that rage down, burn through these defenses, and get to that infernal tower again. All that was supposedly soaking up those uh, streams. I think they did a pretty good job because the hogs get in there and take it out. Now, I think the hogs right here at the bottom, you see them going down, they start getting burned down pretty quick. They don't have any heals or anything like that. So at this point, you're looking at this attack and you're saying, okay, this is over. But it's not. <laughs> that nice jump spell allows the golems to continue to move forward. The queen is still up. She's full health. You see the, the healers actually rerouted over here and are uh, healing up the golem some. Uh, so everything just sort of worked out. The king's falling. He's, he's behind right there, but he's going to take this jump as well. As soon as that CC goes down, he's got the ability left on both heroes and just sort of picks his way through the rest of this base, just sort of slowly but surely. Again, those golems just continuing to tank for a lot of stuff. The healer's keeping them up. Um, right there is the king's ability being used. Again, I think there's one hog left that he just he just deployed a moment ago. But really, it's the level 40 heroes working their way through this base and taking it out. But that's, that's the power of level 40 heroes against town on defenses so if you can get rid of those infernos have a good plan for it like dito did uh this is what can be done with those those higher level attacks so really nice job uh, right here you see the last few defenses going down that one hog that deployed on the off side of the map made it all the way through without hitting a spring trap or anything or, or getting taken out so really really nicely done uh and again another one of the town hall 10 attacks that made the difference in this war uh and gave emphatic elite the w so there you see the stats uh, everything was was pretty even as far as like percentage and stuff like that. It's just a couple of those three stars didn't go our way. So that's the that's the breaks. That's how it goes sometimes in these arranged wars. Big props to the fact elite. Congratulations, guys! You did really really well. And to everyone at One Hive, keep your head up. We will do nothing but get better from this one. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and be looking forward to more of the attacks spread out amongst other videos. Until next time, Jake from One Hive, doing my best to help you guys suck less.